friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four in my 2017 holiday card series. Today I'm going to be using this set from Lawn Fawn called Ready Set Snow and I'll also be using the Perfectly Plaid Christmas and Perfectly Plaid Winter 6x6 pads. And I'm actually not going to be making a card today, I'm going to be making a group of tags. So I've stamped out the two snowmen on some Copic Friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to begin by giving them a frosty glow using the BG Quadruple Zero and the BG10. So I'm starting with that BG10 and just kind of highlighting them on one side. And then I'm going to take the BG Quadruple Zero and just drag that out a bit. And I'm going to let that fade off into white. And that's just going to make them have a lot more dimension than if I were to just leave them plain white and not color them at all. And I'm just shading them in the direction opposite to where they're facing. So it was on the left of the taller snowman and on the right of the shorter one. Then I'm going to take YR07 and color in the little carrot noses. Uh, this is such a small area, so one color will do. And now I'm going to begin to color in their accessories. So for the first one on the left, I'm using reds. So I'm using R29, R39, and R59. And I'm just starting with that R59 and adding in my shadows. And then I'm going to blend out with the R39. Just dragging that color over just a bit, but leaving most of the area for the lightest color for the highlight, and that's the R29. So I'll just fill in the remaining space with that and make sure that I'm overlapping just a bit so that I don't get any harsh lines. Originally, I thought I would try to color them all the same and just keep it very simple. Um, but I never seem to be able to do things the simple way. So I did color a second snowman with the red and then changed my mind. So you're going to see later that I'm going to stamp out an extra snowman and color his accessories differently. But for now, moving on to the snowman on the far right, and I'm going to color him with some greens. I'm using G14, G17, and G19. And once again, just going darkest to lightest. Uh, for some reason, my G17 was coming out a bit darker than the G19. Um, I had to keep checking the barrel to make sure that I had the caps on right, but they were right. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe my G19 was just running out a bit, so it was a little bit faded. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I just switched those and um, blended everything in together with the lightest shade. For the other snowman that's uncolored at this moment, I'm going to give him some gray accessories. So I'm using C1, C3, and C5. And I'm pulling my color choices directly from the pattern paper that I'm going to be using on each of these little tags. Pattern paper is almost always my go-to inspiration for the color choices that I make. Um, it's just such a great resource. There's just so many different combinations to use. And even if you're not going to use the actual pattern paper on your card, which I don't see why you wouldn't because I just I love pattern paper, but um, even if you don't use the pattern paper, just flip through for color choices. You'll find some unexpected combinations. So I've stamped out an extra snowman and colored him in just as I have the other ones. And now I'm going to take BG45 and BG49 to color in his little hat and scarf. Um, there are only those two shades in this particular color family. So those are all I'm going to use. But I will go back and add just a bit more of the BG49 in the darkest areas to make the be just as much contrast as on the other snowmen. And then I'm just using a little dab of C1 for their pom-poms. So now I'm going to take the Tiny Tags dies from Lawn Fawn. There are four dies in that set. And I'm going to die cut a different color pattern paper from each of those. And then I will also die cut uh, some plain white cardstock with each of those dies to match. Then I'm going to take a sentiment from the Tiny Tags Saying stamp set. Um, all of the sentiments in that set fit on these little tags, but I'm going to use the to and from. 
and I'm going to stamp those out in some Lawn Fawn Lobster ink, which is a really nice bright red, perfect for Christmas. And I'm making sure to stamp that towards the bottom so I have room to write the name at the top. I'll flip those over and line them up and just add a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi glue to the backs of each. That's my favorite liquid glue. I want to add a fair bit, but not so much that it'll squeeze out the edges. And then I'm going to take the matching die cuts and line those up right over top. And be sure to just squeeze the corners and edges together so that I know that they're perfectly straight. Then I'm going to take one of the Lawn Fawn Stitched Snowflake dies. There are five dies in that set, but I'm just using the one and I die cut four snowflakes. And again, I'm going to add a bit of Tombow Mono right to the center and on two of the arms of the snowflakes so that it adheres down just a little bit better. And then I'm going to line those up, making sure not to overlap the hole um, and just press those down into place. And I'm just offsetting those on the left so that they're hanging over the edge just a little bit. And then I'll take our little snowman, which I die cut with the matching dies, and I'm just going to adhere those flat to the tag with some more liquid glue, just matching them up best with their color palette to the pattern paper um, that I'm using. And I'm just adding the ones that are facing right on the left and the ones that are facing left on the right. I want to tie on some twine so that you're able to attach them to gifts or even hang them on your tree if you'd like to use them as ornaments. So I'm taking some Lawn Fawn Silver Tinsel Lawn Trimmings and I just measured out four pieces of equal length and then I'm going to thread them through the top and just tie them off at the end with a simple knot. And after that, I just felt like they were missing a little something, and usually with the Christmas project, that is some sparkle. So I'm going to take my favorite crystal stickles and just add a bit to each of their accessories, um, just kind of in the shadowed areas of my coloring on their little hats and scars and earmuffs. And that is going to complete our project for today. I'll lift them up to the light so you can see all that pretty sparkle and just get a better look at them up close. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is something different than a card, but also another great Christmas project for your gifts or for your tree um, or anything like that. You could even attach these to a card if you'd like uh, without the strings. So. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Here's an extra couple videos from day four of the previous two years of holiday card series for my channel. So I hope those will tide you over in the meantime. Thank you again so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.